Vipoma is a rare endocrine tumor of pancreatic non-beta islet cells. They are sometimes associated with multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. Vipoma is sometimes as malignant, sometimes benign, but it overproduces vasoactive intestinal peptide and causes a specific syndrome called Werner Morrison syndrome. Prolonged watery diarrhea and dehydration, sometimes diarrhea presented for 5 year or more before diagnosis. Hypokalemia and achlorhydria, acidosis, flushing and hypotension, from vasodilation, hypercalcemia, and hyperglycemia. Lethargy, muscle weakness, nausea, vomiting and crampy abdominal pain. This syndrome is sometimes also called pancreatic cholera syndrome. Diagnosis. Vasoactive intestinal peptide, VIP, level in the blood. CT scan of the abdomen. MRI of the abdomen. Treatment. The first goal of treatment is to correct dehydration. Fluids. Slower diarrhea. Octreotide natural hormone somatostatin, blocks the action of VIP. Surgery to remove the tumor. If the tumor has not spread to other organs, surgery can often cure the condition. For metastatic disease, peptide receptor radionuclide therapy, PRRT, can be highly effective. Prognoses. The average survival rate of patients with VI POMA is 8 years. Prognosis is largely dependent on tumor staging, surgical situation and the severity of the metastases. The incidence of VIPOMA is about one case per 10 million people per year.